Hello, everybody. So I have a question uh, from a homework uh, from Carleton University. The homework is this. You have a pulley system like this. When the block B moves to the right hand side by 300 units, then the question is how, how much block A moves? You see, block, when you pull the B to the right hand side, A will move to the right hand side as well. How much does A move? And how much does the section C, C is a part, a part of a cable. So this part of the cable uh, moves how much? The next part, this part of the cable moves how much? All right. To do this problem, I have a simple way, well, a shortcut uh, to start. The shortcut is this. Suppose you have just one pulley and you have a loop. This end of the loop is fixed and the loop goes around the pulley to the other side of the pulley and this end is movable. So you grab this end, you grab this end. All right, this is the black part. Black part is the initial position of the question. Then you pull, the pull this pulley down. So it comes to the red position. The pulley comes down, say, by five units. If the pulley comes down, then this black dot will move down as well, right? And let me draw the rope using red color. The red color portion is when the pulley is in the new position. Okay, I want to find how much this end, this movable end, moves from here to here. All right. Let's look at the position before you move the pulley. So let's say this is 31 unit. And this portion is 16 unit, let's say. Then the rope, the total length of the rope is this plus the hemicircle circle plus the half circle of the pulley and a plus 16. You see at the red position or at the black position and the red position, this portion of the rope doesn't change. It's a half of the pulley. So let's not consider this portion because this portion doesn't change. So the original length of the rope is this length, which I have 31 unit plus this length, which is 16 unit. As the units here are not uh, The units here are not uh, arbitrary, I just measured it. Because my diagram is uh, according to this, uh, look at this. This is 31, okay, 31, 31. And uh, this is 16. So, 
this is 31 unit actually the unit is cm so this is a cm uh, ruler so 31 cm and 60 uh, 16 cm so the total length of the rope not considering this small part the total length is 47 cm now the pulley is is moving down by five units okay five units is here five units five units here then this portion of the rope becomes longer 31 plus 5 right then how much is this portion because the total length doesn't change so I have 47, that's the total length, 47, 31 plus 16 is 47. And then I have uh, this portion is 31 plus 5, 31 plus 5 is 36. Then this portion should be the total length subtract 36 because the total length doesn't change. So. This is the total length before you move the pulley down and the total length after you pull down this the length of this plus this plus 31 plus 5 should be this uh, should be 47 as well so you use 47 subtract 36 you get 11 so this end comes down to the red dot and oh no sorry so this portion should be 11 because 11 plus 31 plus 5 should equal to 31 plus 16 so this is 11 then how much does the red dot sorry how much does the black dot move down to the red dot? So measure it. Ten, you see? This is ten unit. So it moves down by ten unit. Now you see the relation. When the pulley moves down by five units, this end moves by two times five units, two times five uh, cm. So it's 10 cm. That's more. So remember this result. You have a pulley, one side of the rope is fixed. This end is fixed. The, the other end can move. If you pull the pulley down by x, then this moving terminal will move down by 2x. Remember that. It's double. Double the uh, pulley movement. All right. Now we can come to this problem. This pulley moves 300 units. This side of the rope is fixed. Therefore, the C will move this way, right? If you pull B, C will move. How much it will move? Double this amount, 600. This way. Understand? So you have the answer for part B right away. The answer is 600. This way. How much A moves? I don't know yet. So let's say A moves X. Let's say A moves X, X unit. If A moves X unit, then this portion of the rope moves X unit. The Correct? B 
because this is a fixed pulley. So when A moves X unit, this portion will move X unit to the right hand side. This moves X, the D portion will move, will move X as well. Of course, there is a problem because A moves. This moves, you see. If A does not move, if this portion of the rope moves X, then this has to move X. This will move X. This way, right? Now you look at this. A moves X. If this does not move, if only A moves, and if this does not move, C will move double that. So C will move 2X. If D does not move, if D does not move, and A moves X, then this will move double that, 2x. However, d is moving this way, x. Therefore, in addition to the 2x due to the motion of a, it will have an additional x. Because this x goes this way, then you have x goes this way. So the total motion is 2x, plus x. Do you follow this part? Uh, do you follow this part? A moves x. Let me repeat. A moves x. So this portion of the loop moves x. Then this has to move x if we do not consider the motion of A. This will move X. But A is moving X. So this side will move double that amount, will move to X. However, there is X moving this way, so there is an additional X moving that way. So the total motion of C is 2X plus X. But we already see C moves 600, double that. Therefore, 2x plus x is 600. Two x plus x is 600. This means three x is 600. That is, x is 200. Therefore, the answer is A is moves 200 this way, D moves 200, it's X, you see, D moves 200 that way. So we answer the problem A, B, C. The tricky part is the, the C part of the cable, which moves 2x plus x. x is the motion of A. Do you uh, follow this? The original question from Carlton University is, the velocity of B is 300 millimeter per second. So the original question is not the distance moved, it is the velocity. But it's the same thing. If it moves 300 millimeter per second, this X moves 200 millimeters per second, okay? 
So you just change this to a millimeter per second. It's a velocity. And this is 600 millimeter per second, and this is 200 millimeter per second. That's the end of this problem. If you, if you don't follow, if you have any questions, actually you can uh, send me a message. So. Yeah, you can send me a message. My phone number is 416-648-5555. You can uh, you can send me a message. Okay? That's the end of today's lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.